Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron for Vanilla uh, with the Tri of Allegiance DLC in which we're playing as a second Brazilian Republic led by Gaduyo Vargas. He's an authoritarian populist. Not even one political power day, god dang it. But the Conga Kyo Menace. The northeast of Brazil has been plagued for many years by a banish known as a uh, Conga Sol. With instability in the capital and the politicians being more concerned with remaining in power, the Conga Sol are running rampant. Only through a concerted effort by law enforcement can we hope to curtail their influence in the region. We'll deal with them in time. Um, so, legacy uh, and planning operations will remain active until they are removed from afflicted states. Deal with them with a focus. So. But we're going to go ahead and end the state of emergency. This is on a historical, so we'll see what happens. The once heroic Getulio of Argos now stands as the greatest threat to, the, to Brazilian democracy. His desire for power and the opportunistic tendencies have allowed him to all but suspend the rights we have fought to secure. All who value freedom the most must oppose this dangerous state of emergency. Cool. Um, so, yeah, there's that. This performance line goes up. Uh, so we'll probably want to do this one, dude. Aftermath of the coffee crisis. The Great Depression ruined the Brazilian economy due to over-reliance on exports, primarily coffee. While efforts have been made to repair the economy, it falls with a finish of job. We shall reinvigorate our industries and become the economic powerhouse of the continent. So we can get to this fast as possible. Uh, Radio Nacional. Many nations are beginning to establish national broadcasting institutions to provide factual content and entertainment to the masses over the airwaves. We shall avoid being left behind in such endeavors by founding your own Radio Nacional. So that'll get us that one pretty easily. That's pretty nice. Um, so we led by this guy, the legacy of the naval arms race, were there no formal treaties preventing the expansion of the Brazilian, Chilean, or Argentinian navies, there's been an informal arrangement since the Great War that has prevented it. If any of the nations in the region were to begin arming their fleets with new capital ships, a new arms race would be inevitable. Oh, and Germany's in a civil war. Good for them. Separatist sentiments. There are many across the nation who have grievances with the central government of Brazil, or who resent having to support the less affluent states of the nation. In the past, these sentiments have led to short-lived separatist movements breaking their states away from the nation. If we fail to stabilize the political situation soon, such movements may cause a fragmentation of Brazil. Monroe Doctrine. The U.S. has long promised to protect the Western Hemisphere from outside interference by colonial powers, meaning an incursion into our territory would likely mean the U.S. would come to our aid, however. If our politics no longer align with that of the U.S., we may find ourselves unprotected, which would not be good. You know, it is what it is. Um, so then deal with the uh, Conga Sao, which I'm sure I'm saying wrong. The Conga Sao are nothing more than bandits who have been a thorn in our side for far too long. It's time we expel the thorn from the north once and for all. Which would be great. Under diversified economy, over reliance on coffee export left the Brazilian economy crippled. And when the Great Depression hit, and the nations of the world stopped purchasing the addictive stimulants, uh, we were in a pickle. Uh, any government will have to diversify the economy into the new areas if the nation is to thrive, and then weak government, which is very bad. Revolutions and attempted coups over the years have weakened the authority of the Brazilian government. The situation is made worse by the 1934 Constitution, an agreement forged from compromise and gain garners few supporters. Whatever the future of Brazil may be, it's certain that the current political arrangement is untenable. Nice. So, which leads us to here. The Conga Sao are nothing more than bandits who have been a thorn in our side for far too long. It's time we expel the thorn from the north for once and for all, which we just read too. Uh, we'll close out of that one probably for now. So, planning operations. If not completed, we'll lose some more stability. Begin anti Conga Sao operations in Rio de, de Nota, Bahia, uh, is it Ceara, Ceara, Ponambuco, which we'll lose uh, a lot of stuff here, but that's fine. And then uh, and Piaui. Cool. Uh, what do we got here? This first industry, that's what we got. Uh, so it looks like it takes a lot of command power, which means we need more war support. So who do we have for political advisors? Depose former president, Washington Luis Pereira. Daily unsupported lives, lose a lot of political power, though. Yuriko Gaspar Dutra. Ooh, he's not bad. 2% more recruitable population. I like that a lot. Mm, Nobel Peace Prize nominee. Eh, seems alright. Supreme Court Justice. Lose political power. More daily democracy support. A political fox. Ooh. Political advisor cost goes down. Better ideology, drift defense, and better political power gain. I like that. João Neves da Fontoura. Interesting. More political power. Only 7%. Minister of Transport. Right wing ideologue. Uh, Anti authoritarian. Interesting. Felento Müller, not, no, not bad. Jose Américo de Almeida, education pioneer, trade unionist, democratic engineer, Soviet spy, ooh, militant communist, captain of industry, war industrialist, pretty normal stuff, a devoted communist, dev communist intellectual, fascist propagandist, interesting, fascist militarist, ooh, a recruitable population, 1.5%. Um, he does not, so you can get a fascist militarist, as long as we're not communist, you can grab him, and it gives you more population, but doesn't give you more fascist daily support, which is kind of interesting to see. 
Coffee King, ooh. So you actually might go with this guy eventually. Even though I personally prefer more political power. So, Benedito Baladora seems like the guy we want. want. Uh, go ahead. So we got that, so we can deal with him now. Building slots would be nice. Destin Volvimento would be good. Ooh, more steel. Ooh, 24 steel. That's a lot of steel. We actually need steel immediately. But we're not going to go with this democracy route. Or whatever the route this is. Labor disputes, whatever this is. International crisis, war bonds. We're going to go with the romanticize imperial history. There's no shortage of disgruntled politicians, business leaders, or citizens who, for one reason or another, wish to see the end of this failed republic. Perhaps by unifying around our imperial history and past glory, we can unite them into one cohesive movement. Yes. So is there anything we can do here? So... We're up here, so let's do this one first, I guess. We're going to move to get more political power, which is nice. So we really need more war support. So now, with that 10% more political power, we get 0.91, which is still not good enough. Um, it is already July 4th, which is good. Uh, we need a lot of guns, don't we? What are these division templates like? 16 combo with, which is okay. 16 combo with, with engineers. So that's actually not bad. Um, post that. Can we grab army drills? Okay, defense. I'd rather get the defense, maybe? Yeah, defense probably is the guy we want more. Naval aviation. We can't go with carriers in this campaign, but successful operation against a Kanga Sao, which I'm sure I'm saying wrong, like I said before. Our recent operation in the northeast of Brazil has proven successful in disrupting the operations of Kanga Sao. The area of operation has been significantly reduced for now, but continued investment of law enforcement will be necessary if we are to prevent other resurgence in the future. Very true. So now it's down to 25, which is not bad. Support Pedro de Alcantara's claim, which to more division speed, worse air accents chance, versus Pedro Enrique's claim. You both get 100 political power, but you get better trade law costs, economy law costs, and daily support on the line as well. So honestly, either one doesn't really matter. I think historically, Pedro Enrique's claim was really the one who was uh, first up to who could get the uh, the throne, I think. I think it was. He was the eldest son. Yeah. This guy died historically. Pedro died historically in 1940, while the other guy died in like uh, 1980. Let me see. I'm also on Wikipedia as I'm doing this. Yeah, 1981. He died. In, oh, that sucks, bro. Building slot and more daily army XP immediately would be nice. From immigration, that'd be nice. Uh, I kind of want to do this one. But is there any benefit to come race down here as fast as possible? More than 30 percent. Well, we want as much. Ent uh, on a line support, so I'll probably support Pedro Enrique's claim. Our attempts at creating a movement to disrupt the political status quo has led to calls for a resurrection of our imperial history, although the return of the um, through the return of the imperial royal family. Many are rallying around the head of the exiled imperial house of uh, Brazil, Pedro Enrique, as a rightful ruler of the nation. Sure, why not? Cool. Seven percent's not bad. We're gonna need a lot of political power in the end, I'm sure. Can volunteer forces. Do this before on the line, but I don't want to hurt ourselves with that. This would be good. Uh, I want at least ten percent political power. This is not bad. Open up political discourse. Well, we probably can't. Um, so, another o successful operation is very good. And look at that. Otto assumes a Hungarian crown. Oh, well, that's different too. Trade unionist. Yeah, we don't need more economy support. War industrialist. I like the daily compliance game. That's pretty good, but we're not communists. This guy would be good to get. All military advisors cost goes down by 10%. That's honestly very strong. You save a lot of political power going that way. Research speed, coffee king. I'm halfway tempted to get the fascist militarist right now. We don't need the extra manpower right now, though, so we can wait. A café comme Let Politiques. The once powerful coffee barons who controlled Brazilian politics for decades were swept from power during the 1930 revolution. Many retained a great deal of economic influence and could be coaxed into supporting the imperial restoration movement in exchange for political concessions. So we don't have to get that political power now. Uh, go to Partial Mobe. Anyone here is unique? Metland Doctrine? No. Anything here that's super unique? 15% is not bad. Ship repair speed? That's kind of unique. Shipping concern? I like that. Industrial concern is not bad either. 5% is okay. So there's not 10% for more political power. There's 7%. Is there two guys for 10% here? 7%? You lose political power. Yeah, so. And honestly, I want to... Uh, we need that command power, though. Mm. 
We're gonna go here. Get a slightly more fuel to use. Not very much more, but you know it is what it is. A royal wedding in Brazil. Uh, you know, I'm not opposed to uh, that necessarily. Antonio de Oliveira Salazar. Uh, you have strikes? Oh, an unreliable army. That goes Spain, of course, like normal. Um, can you support a side here? No, darn it. Jose Sanjuro, Line of the Reef. You can't look a little bit like a fat Hitler. Alright, well then. So we're gonna go with that. We need 30% or more support. We're gonna go with Ezercito Brasileiro, although they're nothing to scoff at. Our armed forces are still much weaker than desired. Arming the soldiers with more modern weapons, as well as training them to be ready for combat at any time, is essential. Oh! Look at this guy. Arlindo Vaiga dos Santos. Oh, that's cool. We're gonna get more support here. First entry is good. Go with that one. And we got radio. Nice. So does that mean we can actually do this one next? Yeah. Constitutional monarchy compromise. With the Imperial Restoration Movement gaining traction and support for the current regime waning, calls for a compromise solution to stabilize the nation are increasing. The most prominent suggestion is to establish a figurehead constitutional monarchy while retaining political power in the National Congress. The second Brazilian Republic will be known as the Kingdom of Brazil. Oh, that'd be cool. Greens undermine democracy, lose political power, stability, and daily democracy support. Nice. Increase royal... T issue royal titles. Uh, get 2% more recruitable population. Worse acceptance of democratic democracy. We get politically connected. All of our generals become politically connected, which is not great. Restore the coffee barons. More political power. Bribe the military. Remove weak government. That would be very good. And research slot. we got to go like Bribe the military. The fair military elite are fickle in their loyalties and paranoid over the threat of communism, both domestic and foreign. We shall use this to our advantage by bribing them with an increased military budget in exchange for supporting a reign, and then establish the Royal College of Rio de Janeiro. The Emperor has recently taken a keen interest in the academic standing of our nation, and as such has decreed the establishment of a new Royal College in the capital to promote greater domestic technological innovation. That'd be great. Proof working conditions, you know what? We could use more stability. I would really love to send volunteers. I want to send volunteers, but we're not aligned, which is probably not a great path to go down, but whatever. Build, 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 build those civvies. And then we'll build some more millies. Oh my god, do we need a lot of this stuff here? Uh, sure. Yes. The gas is a little more, that's okay. Can I send volunteers? No. Hmm. Hey, that's good. If not completed, if I do so. Kingdom of. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Oh, Japan's having Civil War too. I'm gonna bribe the military. Fantastic. The daily command power game multiplier. Ugh, that's terrible. I know. Um, we can get Gothic King eventually. He's kind of unique, so we probably should get him anyways because we don't always will have the chance to get him. Uh, limited conscription. We could. What else do we have here, though? What else do we do with my political power? You know what? Screw it. We're going to do it anyways. We're going to need it later on anyways. As Jorcito Brasileiro, we government, of course. Don Pedro Enrique. Oh, that would be good. Util utilize the national security law. Oh. Unwilling subjects. Well, that's not good. Arlindo Vaga dos Santos retires and remove Don Pedro Enrique. Oh. Pedro Enrique becomes leader for the non-aligned party. Politically educated. Oh, that's good. Undermine the National Congress. Our most influential supporters are not content with the Constitutional Monarchy Compromise. They're growing impatient and want to see the monarchy use a newfound influence to overrun the National Congress by appointing a new council of ministers. Issue Royal Titles. As beginning to retake control of the rival domain, the burden of controlling the diverse regions is becoming a burden of our dear monarch. He has therefore proclaimed the new land. Did, uh, landed Royal Titles issues. Titles shall be issued to those deemed trustworthy to aid in the governance of the kingdom. German military junta. They're gonna fascists in the UK. Hmm. Active state, please. We don't need any more active states. How's Japan looking? Oh, and they also went communist too. Look at that. Austria votes to unite. Look at that. Well, the Kingdom of Hungary is looking thick. Or thicker, or I should say, longer. Good operation. 
Improving your stability. Look at that too. Nice, nice, nice. I'm really thinking this one. Ship repair speed. Doctor output. Or this convoy for production. Because when, when our ships need to get repaired, they really need to get repaired. I might just do that one next. Well, Chris, if you do military theorists. Yeah, I'm going to do military theorists. My bad. Let's see if they can reunite Austria-Hungary. Oh, the German Empire. Are we building... We're getting the Kaisers back together, probably. There you go. Revive the Kaiserreich. Czechoslovakia, as long as you accept. Yeah, you could have the cent literally the central powers come back. I'm not sure what Turkey's doing. Oh, and the Spanish Commune. What is France doing now? Are they going communist? Maybe. There we go. 12 days. That might. We should have acted a little faster than that, but oh well. I don't the National Congress. Happens, you know. Did it fire again? Oh, the killing operation. The bandits in the northeast Brazil, known as Kangasau, have orchestrated a raid on a settlement in the region. Law enforcement are struggling to make their headways with their investigations due to local protesters. Our locals protesting are protecting members of the group. It seems that hunting down the perpetrators require much stronger security presence in the area. They're just a nuisance. It's okay. Good, so we'll get rid of them. It should be good. Uh, restore the coffee barons. Which we need to get a more than 50% support, which gives us time to do other things. Lampiao killed in a shootout. During our most re law enforcement operation in Northeast Brazil, Lampiao, the most famous of the Congasau, was killed in a shootout with the police. A member of uh, Lampiao's group of bandits betrayed him, which allowed the police to ambush the group at their hideout. While many small groups of bandits continue to roam the countryside, this will appear to mark the end of a large scale operation by the Congasau. About time. Oh. Preventing. Oh, that's great. I would like to get down here too. Fast. Not to exercises. Uh, experience gain. Forza era brasileira. Many theorists would argue that the area that we're currently falling behind in the most is the development of a modern air force. Therefore, we must work hard to remedy this by constructing new hangar and facilities, as well as training new additional pilots in Marina do Brasil. Our navy has stagnated since the Great War to such an extent that many of our vessels are no longer fit for purpose. It's time that we begin investing in the fleet and begin a massive modernization process. Very nice. Can't have old guns. Especially when they're outdated. Um, so we're here. We need more this support. Um, so with that in mind, we're going to grab this guy. I don't work on that. I lose daily democracy support, which is good. Um... Ooh, restoration of Austria Hungary. Finland, clear war on Finland. We might need to push harder for more unaligned support, actually. Supreme Court justice, democracy, no. Because right now we're only at 44%. We, we got to crush the Democrats here. Or fascists, which is not very much. It's 10% here, 9%. We can crush the fascists harder. We lose a little bit of stability here for that. What if we did that one? 40%? That should help us out a little bit more, right? That's a core territory. So we're going to wait for that. Um, I do want that steel, though. Compania Siderurgica Nacional. Steel has become a crucial resource in the multitude of industries, but our domestic production of it is insufficient to satiate demand. We shall therefore establish a state owned national steel company with cutting edge machinery rather than importing from overseas. Yay. Hey, get one political power day. I've always gone superior, down superior firepower, which I do like, don't get me wrong. What about grand battle plan, though? Punishment speed, manpower gain, army infiltration. Uh, elastic defense, soft attack, apply supply consumption, out of out attack, conscience, assault, motorized, overwhelming firepower. Well, assault, max planning, five more. Superior firepower is just so good. I'm, I'm just, I, gotta, I gotta keep going down it. I'm sorry. We don't have the industry to support anything else though. Mass assault, I'm not even going to attempt. If I was a major or at least secondary power, I would do something else, but look at that manpower. So nice. Thick. 
Let's do any more guns. Because we want to make some more infantry. We want to make more cavalry for now. I hope... Just because we can, I hope these guys get Czechoslovakia. Go Shang-Chi. And then we can do utilize the national security law. Despite the feeble resistance offered by members of the National Congress, our new Council of Ministers successfully established themselves as a legitimate government of the nation. Now let's use the national security laws enacted by Jutulio Abadegas regime to assert absolute authority over political affairs. Yes, we should be able to do that now. Yes. Good. Get a little more steel, get a city as well. Help us out. Yes, please. Yes, Papa. So where are they at with this? National revitalization, rebuild the nation. Um, that's bridge restored. Nice. Yeah, again, becoming quite fascist. British austerity, Danish produce, changing course. So we'll see what happens to them. The black troops were supposed to be marching here. Factionalism. Ooh. The Red Army. China's looking nice and thick now. Yeah, they're actually doing really well, huh? Go figure. Air Force, Night Operations, Air Superiority. Um, Salgo Filgo? Yes. So then what? Request unification of Portugal and Brazil. If they accept, they'll become a subject of Brazil. However, they may offer an alternative or reject it. Six templates. Uses penal battalions. Create six units in Rio de Janeiro. We start Amazonian colonization. Or we can do this for more political power immediately. We establish the Empire of Brazil. And we can increase our relations and then do this one with uh, Portugal. With power secure in the hands of the monarch and the appointed ministers, it's time to restore the nation to its former glory. The first step doing so shall be the restoration of the Empire of Brazil and return to the traditional values with which it was built. Cool. Happy nineteen thirty eight, everybody. We need guns, weapons, research speed, yes, please. Actually, is there a way to... Uh, ah! I have to figure that out. Shift click to add trait. Okay, oh, see? Uh, well, I guess that one. There you go. That's how you do it. Pedro Enrique. Handsome. Oh, wow. Union of Soviet Republics. Soviet Union. Oh, man, that's not looking very good for them. But somehow they'll probably will win. We'll see. Also, we started off with a bunch of carrier planes, which I don't understand why we don't even have normal planes, but whatever. Finally, we're 15. Good. Uh, so we're here. Let's go increase relations with these guys. We kind of like each other. It's like almost we're like family and we're related. Which is kind of disgusting that we want to marry each other again. But you know, whatever. We're going to marry family members. That's how we do it here. <gasps> they got him. Yes. Nice. They're getting the central powers back together. Minus. Well, I guess the Turks went socialist. Bunch of communists led by Ismet Inonu. Uh, whatever. It, oh. What happened to you guys? How did you... Why'd you become this? Italian Yugoslavia. Alright, whatever. It's your life. It's your... It's your deal, I guess. Alright, so... The restoration of the Imperial House of Brazil has rekindled monarchist sentiments in Portugal too. Perhaps we should use this as an opportunity up to unify our nations under a single monarch once more. After all, both nations stand a benefit from one another's resources and expertise. If that's the case, we can maybe go to war with Spain after that. And China's killing itself. But what else is new? The best person to kill off China is China. It's Chinese or something. Iran. It's a military pact. Huh. Call for international revolution brigades. Ivan Smirnov has made a call for volunteers in the struggle against Joseph Stalin. Calls been asked by various groups and international brigades are forming. Oh, all right. We're doing well here. They almost crushed. They pretty much crushed everybody in the north. It's kind of sad. Um, so, let's see what they say. Cisplane revanchism. The shame of the Cisplane War hangs over the Imperial House, even a century after the Costly War ended. Reserving our claim to the lands of Uruguay would go a long way to rekindle the pride amongst our subjects, and reminding the world that we're not the same decrepit nation we once were. Well, we'll see. We have no artillery in these guys. We do have engineers, don't get me wrong, but... That doesn't mean very much. The jungle rat. These are both jungle rats, by the way, too. Success of battle. Combo rating 15% is not bad. I wouldn't mind carries, but they're very expensive to make. Ah! Uh, uh, Portugal proposes the Commonwealth. Our recent proposal to Portugal has garnered a surprising response. Portugal rejects its out of unification, but in lieu of this proposal, a Commonwealth of Fortune Nations. Give us some of the benefits of unification, less of the drawbacks, and allow both of our nations to retain their unique identity. 
Benefit as well. Reduce the phone Commonwealth. Uh, that kind of sucks. Hmm. Could we? Are we could become leaders of it, become bigger and stronger as we are fighting in South America. In South America, uh, take more territory, become the, the de facto leader, take out Spain once a year, reunify, annex Spain ourselves, and then beat up Portugal. You know what? We're gonna go with this for now. Now we're in a faction, are we? Or are we not? Maybe not. We're gonna do this one next. See what we can do. We have Portuguese colonies. A modern nation of Portugal is but a uh, husk of a once great empire. While the world is caught up in chaos elsewhere, we should engage in gunboat diplomacy and persuade the Portuguese government to hand over the overseas territories to us or demand total Portuguese submission. The lands of Portugal are governed by illegitimate powers. If for our or only our emperor has a God-given right to rule over them. We shall demand the surrender of all the lands to us, so we shall take them back by force if necessary. Which I think I kind of want to do. Ooh, yeah, I forgot that we do have... Ooh, that hurts. If we can move in fast enough, we should be okay. Ooh, we're making a... Uh, we're actually making quite a few things here. That's nice. Uh, we need planes, though. Also, we need some of this, too. Uh, overwhelming firepower. Come on. There you go. Give you guys a little bit of a boost. Ooh, you know what? There you go. Before we do that, because I'm going to throw some RT already here too. Restoring Brazilian honor. Uh, while many of our subjects were skeptical over the return of the monarchy, the majority are now satisfied with the results. With the borders expanded, our economy mended, and the natural hierarchy of society reformed, we can finally see that Brazilian honor has been restored. Cool. Um, so let's save real quick. I don't think this will go super great for us, but you never know. Are they guaranteed by anybody? No? Why don't you go in as fast as you possibly can? No, you go here. That'd be good. You go here. Better radar is good. Some better artillery, yes. I'm gonna win here. Maybe not win here, but that's okay. Nice. Why did you let them have that? I do not understand. Alright, so now we're starting to lose, which is not ideal. You're gonna help us attack here. You're gonna stop attacking here. Hold real quick. Get some more strength back. We are completely out of guns. Not ideal. I'll buy some guns. There you go. Oh, they want to take us too? That's good with us. That's fine. Being in this conflict does help us out, in which we do get some more XP. New President of Uruguay. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh. Interesting shift. World propaganda would be nice. Combat training, air defense, infantry tech defense. Yeah, we're gonna grab you immediately. I would like to attack down here though, so. Let's give us kind of a second. And there goes the Soviet Union. You should be able to win. End of the Soviet Civil War. Nice. Good, that gives us 10% more attack too, which is fantastic. Secure our borders. I expand the colonial empire. Um, let's go with Batahoyles de Presos. Many of the armed forces are unenthused at the prospect of fighting for a monarchy that has been in exile for decades. Since utilizing the national security laws, however, we've created a glut of prisoners who can be put to use in penal battalions, reinforcing and demoralized conventional forces. Should be able to win down here, it's only one division. You know. 1938. Synthetic oil would be nice. Not super necessary yet. Let's grab some trucks. Trucking. This will shift the battle lines around just a little bit, which would be nice. Not the video. Uh, go here. That would be good. 
And here we're at. They only have 3 tiles left, and we're doing actually very, very well. We've lost 2,000 versus 16,000. Very nice so far. Oh, they're taking us too. But you know what? That's not going to last very long. Um, and we just finished this one too. Nice. I wouldn't mind doing this one too. Secure our own borders. Or we're surrounded by adversaries beyond our borders who wish to isolate and destroy our great nation. With the domestic situation under control, it's time we turn our attention to foreign affairs and begin making maneuvers to ensure our national security. Because I want to do domination of the Americas. I don't really care about the new good neighbor policy, I'll be honest. Um, peanut battalions, huh? Oh crap, we can't get rid of these, huh? We can't even convert them? We can't delete them. Well, that sucks. You're going to just do Coastal Guard duty then. Uh, is anyone a garbage general? You're one, 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 so... Uh, there you go. There you go. Good luck with that. Train. Don't shoot yourselves in the head, please. There's something that probably is for you guys. Uh, oh, no. Why not? You all go here. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty darn good. Oh, there goes one division. One division popped. Can we make it two? Or maybe three? I think we're going to make it all three of them. We're going to die here. Oh, my God. Disgusting. Oh, we got a ship, too. Or one or two, or whatever. Oh, we got five. Nice. Sort of garbage, but that's okay with us. Occupied territories, military governor. I'm thinking civilian oversight. Oh. Oh, we need to be... Oh, okay, my bad. We can't do that one yet. Um, issue royal titles. Reach out of the great powers. Bicycle infantry is not bad. Ooh, that's a lot of fat rubber. That's 40 rubber. Holy crap, that's a lot of rubber. Um, that being said, though, I still want to do this one next. We still need more air support. Um, we need to raise our war support as well. Superiority. Uh, we need more world tension as well. I wouldn't mind going to war with Paraguay next. Portugal declared war on Greater Portugal, huh? So the fascists have risen up. Interesting. And there goes the kingdom of Portugal. Alright. So much for having a buddy there. So I need a few more guns. Nice. And we're going to start working our navy as well. 20% world tension, constructing air bases. Yeah. We could do this one, yeah. Maybe, we'll see. Happy 1939 almost, everybody. Raider Portugal. Which means they'll probably demand stuff from us, and which they'll probably want to come kill us. Lucifone Commonwealth member. Those nations remember the Lucifone Commonwealth. The community with strongest struggle ties with Portuguese is often the most used language. The member states have agreed to cooperate with one another on matters of mutual concern, such as technology and foreign policy. I'll do that immediately. Alright. We start Amazon colonialization. Of course, I could run down here. The Amazon is rich with resources and land, ripe for exploitation. To stimulate the economy, create an incentive for our soldiers to fight, we should offer those who join the military an opportunity to acquire such lands after an appropriate length of service. And we'll demand total Portuguese mission. So. We'll raise relations. Probably we'll get to nothing out of them, but you know, you never know. Do that. Go ahead. Keep going. Maybe it's looking okay. We're running out of fuel, but what else is new? Happy 1939, everybody. Aftermath of the Chilean earthquake. That sucks for those guys. Sorry to hear that, but it is what it is. Goodbye. More military factories? Sure. We need tons of guns. Naval stuff? Yes, please. How much we do on the Navy here as well? Um, sure. If we're working conditions, more war support would be decent. Uh, shipping concern? Yeah. Just max up that shipping repair speed would be nice. Hey, that's great. More planes. We could make this, but we're not going to. I wonder what's going to happen here. Also, oh, Poland lost half its territory to the uh, USSR, whatever you want to call it now. So, yeah. Mm, anything else really major happen here? Not really. Spain's won the war. Good for them. But they're democratic. But they're really communist. Fascisti. Good relations, yes. Keep doing that for now. Hopefully they say yes. But if not, it's not the end of the world. So just in case. 
And they accept subjugation. Oh, as expected, Greater Portugal acquiesced their demands for the subjugation. As news spreads, the somber moves spread across the former nation of Greater Portugal, with many grappling with the new reality. Meanwhile, patriotic fervors gripped the people of Brazil, reunited at last. Ah, so now the son has become the master. Remove Estudo Novo. Nice. Re replace unstable republic with unstable monarchy. Weekly change. What'd you look at that? Welcome back. Now you're under us, Duke Duarte Nuno. Oh, that's not good. Republican victory in the Spanish Civil War. That's fantastic. Oh, they have a generic focus tree too. Oh, that sucks for them. They have. Is this, does this. Is this removed eventually? No? They're gonna constantly lose. Ooh, that means we have to annex them eventually. That was actually really good for us, though. Nice. Wait, hold on. Can we go to war with Liberia and Ethiopia? Um. I'm not sure how strong they are. Could we even get over there? We could try it. Expand colonial empire. With well, the recent expansion overseas, we now have a foothold from which we can expand our dominion into Africa. While most of our continent remains under the domain of the European Great Powers, there are many research regions ripe for the taking. All right. Well then, I don't think this will go very well for us. I don't think we'll get enough uh, naval invasion support. Uh, if anything, I want to limit the number of territories we actually have to conquer. Go to. So yeah, we have to go through here. Here, I guess we have to do all three, anyways. Mm, military parade, mobilization speed, daily support part unaligned. Even right claims Mamel still. Just fine, whatever. Keep building us up, I guess. Artillery, war support. It costs twenty, but it's worth it. Um, might as well, I guess. And that'll put us at war, which is good. Uh, do this one, and then, uh, oh, whatever. Bolivian Republic, huh? They could war them as well. They've only up to 11 divisions. Rekindle the Acre War. Although the Acre region is now under our control, we could use the historical border conflicts there as an excuse to carve out more of Bolivia. This could give us access to greater wealth of untapped natural resources, supplying our industry for decades to come. Sure. Disperse industry. At least we have three research slots, which is decent. I need you guys to do this. Oh, wait. Empire Brazil. Oh. Forgot about this one. There, you can actually do it like that, maybe. That's why we want to repair things as fast as we possibly can. So, we don't need you here. Well, I guess we need these two then. That's fine. Because you guys are already over there, so that's not bad. I didn't realize we could get over here already. Interesting. Uh, rubber would be bad. Uh, as your seat of technical and production department, in order to properly arm the military, we must enlarge the weapons industry. Thus, building new industrial facilities specially tailored towards production of military equipment is a must. Absolutely. Happy 1939, everybody. Post one more person here, President. Minister of Transport. Right wing ideologue. Minister of Speed, Communist. Honestly, I'm tempted to get this guy. That's a lot of extra manpower. And you get more war support, anyways, which we could use, so screw it. I'll grab you. He's fascist, but he doesn't really care if we're fascist or not, which is great.
Canada declares independence. Good for them. Everyone declares independence. Makes it easy for us to kill them all. Are you guys good to go? Well, let's see what we can do. Hopefully it'll be worthwhile. If not, this will be very embarrassing. If not, let's see. If this doesn't go very well, well, then I'm going to redo this then. Fuel storage. Nice. Oh, looks like we're not going to be able to win this one, are we? Our soldiers kind of suck, not going to lie. No, we did not have a failed invasion of Liberia. What are you talking about? Absolutely not. Totally, absolutely not. That's all fake news. Um, is there anywhere we can attack here? Uh, can you go here? Oh, might as well. Uh, now, can you guys do this? No. Probably not. Well, we'll just cut them off anyways. If possibly can't go to La Paz, that'd be great. Uh, if you guys could just go in in general and just we'll just start moving in like crazy, that'd be ideal. All right, we took the capital, Sokra. Just keep these guys in place. That's all that really matters right now. Better engines, yes please. Uh, cool, more arty, yes. And there goes Ireland. Oh, the British pastime. Oh, we got him. Um, uh, taking out the Irish. Cool. Also, when, since these guys became independent, we did get these guys Mozambique and whatever else is around here. We need more world tension. God dang it. I hate that so much. I wanted to go to war with them. Oh, the British Empire. Hmm. What else can we take out besides these guys? Ethiopia. How do we get to... Well, I guess Italy ate up Ethiopia. Hmm. Paraguay? We need more world tension. I was doing this one. So we wish to get people back to work and our exports flowing once more. We kickstart some growth in the economy. We should do by so by creating new industries and making it easy for people to access financial services. And you know, we're going to do radio propaganda because we need more war support. Uh, offer land in the Amazonas? Sure. War in South America? Well, it's not the only war we've had. But whatever. Uh, more war support too would be good here. Good. Because uh, we can't justify on these guys, can we? No. Any more world tension? Store the coffee barons. Uh, well, I guess Battaglia da Boraccia. The Empire of Brazil once dominated the global supply of rubber until the British created vast plantations of their own across their empire. With their, their supply lines under threat, the world once again looks to us to supply them with a precious resource. Should be great. Military high command, war economy. Ooh, that's actually more expensive than I would have liked to hope for. Still, we need more cities. Um, 6% is not bad. We're looking good on a lot of things now, which is fantastic. And good support's good. Infantry, we're going to throw on at least one more infantry. At least one anyone combat with. And screw it, we're going to hurt ourselves badly now with a gigantic lack of artillery. There you go. For now. Upper line of Maran Howl? Howl? Something like that? Mm -hmm. Horses, good. 30% uh, world tension. I don't think there's very much we can do here. I wish people would go to war with each other. It's 1940 already. Oh, you're a puppet of the Soviets. Okay, Fourth International. You're very cordial with each other. Can someone go to war with each other, please? I need more world tension. Poland frickin' returns Danzig. They completely cut off any access they have to the outside world. Good job, guys. Wow. I really did not expect this to be, like... The central power is coming back, but they are. Can I send you... Oh, 37% oh, world tension now. Um, can I send you the attache? That actually might be worth it. We could try it. They will not accept Never mind. Um, what if we improve relations first? Mm, stimulate the economy. Banco de Brazil. Imperial developments. Oh, I do want this one, though. That'd be good. Invest in road infrastructure. Cars and trucks are becoming increasingly important in economic development, however. Our road networks are not yet developed enough to support the mass adoption of vehicles on a national scale. We therefore need to support or invest in a massive highway construction program before the economy becomes throttled. But we're going to secure our borders first, because we have borders for 60% world tension. Or world or support, I should say. So we do that, secure our borders, and then the domination of the Americas. We should never be fully secure with so many adversaries. Oh, 
on our doorstep. The only path of Brazilian salvation is for us to become the undisputed power of the region, which would be great. And then National Technology Fund. Although our industry and military have vastly expanded in recent years, it's become increasingly difficult to maintain technological parity uh, with our foreign adversaries. Uh, to counter this, we should establish a national fund to invest in emerging technologies. Alright, so Germany... Okay, oh, this is what you pretty much has figured out. So, the Baltics have joined, for the most part, as well as Poland has joined the Central Powers. The German Empire Congress. Basically, the Central Powers. Versus the Nordic Defense Council. Oh, the Italian League is their own faction as well. But Yugoslavia? Wait. Oh, so you're not fascist, Yugoslavia. You are under the Southern Deterrence Center. White Death. Wait, who are you fighting? Wait, you're fighting. Eth you're, wait, you're still fighting Ethiopia? Oh, they never capitulated then, huh? You're fighting those guys. Oh, so this is like a reverse winter war. That's different. That's weird. Um, well, boop, boop, uh, boop, 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 six, breakthrough. There you go. That's what we want. Yeah, pretty much saw that one coming. We need more steel as well. Uh, upper lands, that's fine. Mussolini killed during an escape attempt. Oh boy. Poor Mussolini. Engines 2, engines 3. We want state of the art engines. Secure our boards, good. Oh, we can't do this one? Why not? Oh, we need 200,000 manpower. Okay, that's okay. We're gonna go this one next time, uh, Just put them out then. How much manpower do we have in the field now? We're close. Hello, would anyone else like to poop out more? Yes. 27 combat width. Uh, armor would be nice. Recon. Long she cleek. Uh, yeah, recon would be good. Rome in there. Janitor stores Jingdao. Ah, okay, there goes Ethiopia. What else do we need? 1940. Better planes still. Upper land, yes. Developing our country as best and as fast as we possibly can. What's the resistance down here like? It's not bad. Best in road infrastructure, good. And domination of the Americas. Yes, we get more outfactor up with more division defense and attack for two years. Because then after that, what can we do? Establish Berlin Accords. Promotes cooperation. Joins the German we can join the German Empire Congress. Defense of the Fatherland. Establish Rome Accords. For Mercosul. The Guiana Crisis. Demand Territory. Securing the Amazon. Oh, we're going to this way. With the eyes of the European powers elsewhere on the globe, we have an opportunity to force their hand in transferring the territories in the Guianas to us or face another front in their war. British Empire, France, and Netherlands. Well, let's do all three. We start losing political power, that's okay. We're not. Which is great. Fantastic. Air priority, yeah, that'd be good to do. Nice. And then securing the Amazons, which will bypass the Amazon rainforest is intrins intrinsically Brazilian. The fact that the Bolivian Republic continues to occupy parts of it can no longer be tolerated, an intervention in Paraguay. Paraguay is growing too unstable and unpredictable. For the sake of our own national security, we must intervene in their national affairs and stabilize the government. Provoke Argentina. It's clear that Argentina wishes to isolate and destroy us, but if we act too hastily in preventing them from doing so, we may suffer the wrath of the U.S. Instead, we shall provoke the Argentinians into firing first, and we shall finally have vengeance for the Cisplain War. Cis or Cisalpine War. Cool. There you go. We need nuclear technology. Oh, man. Very Germanic up here. Well, that's a very solid block. A very centralized, central European block. That's a very strong block, too. Uh, Mapuche State announces naval expansion with expansion or announcement by the uh, Mapuche government. They intend to expand the fleet with more capital ships. It seems the fragile balance of power on the continent has been shattered. Now we must decide how to respond to their certain threat that our aggressive neighbors now possess. Deploy 100 cavalry, uh, cavalry divisions or battalions. Okay, 1,000 year bond. Not be outmaneuvered. Alright, well, whatever. Hey, nice. Securing the Amazon, nice. Uh, France refuses to transfer territory. The government of France refuses to transfer ownership of the territory, as well as the Dutch. 
Um, and the Guianas do less fall under its new bands. Now I must decide whether to carry out a threat and take the territory by force, or take the diplomatic kit of backing down. But the British Empire is like, yeah. The government of the British Empire have begrudgingly agreed to transfer ownership of their territories and the Guianas to us, following our recent demands. It seems now that our newfound method of a diplomatic brinkmanship has been successful. They have the option to concede to us. What if we did that one? What does that do for us? Hey, we got it. Do we go to war with them immediately and then we piece them out? or Because I have no idea. Are we not posed to a win here against these guys? Defense of the fatherland. Our ambitions far exceed our own currently standing brothers, but even that though that is the case, we must make absolutely sure that no one can threaten our homeland territories. Vivo, viva o Brasil. Even though I think up next would be good to get a another military factory. Or a uh, research slot. Yeah. Panama push. It, uh, Paraguay's government has refused our offer of, to stabilize our nation. It would seem as if we want to enact our regime change there, we'll have to do so with military might. Good. Italian-Brazilian partition of Africa. We get a lot of claims on them. Or South Atlantic domination. We get claims on the islands in the South Atlantic Ocean that are not owned by Brazil or Germany. Gain 10 German-type AA early submachine guns. Gain Seawolf. Oh. That seems nice and all. But I don't care about the Europeans, I'll be honest. I care about us. I want this one. G decisions to gain cores on own territory in South America. Um, so we're going to form our own faction probably. But I'm going to race towards this one. And not really race because we're pretty much already there. But, you know, whatever. So if you're telling me we can't win this war. They immediately start attacking us. Are they, like, secretly strong or something? The aftershock of the Triple Alliance. Monroe Doctrine, Heavy Industry, Fuerza Areas, Fuerza Armadas. That's good for them, don't get me wrong, but still. Cannons, Heavy MGs, I'm not sure which is better. Well, they want to attack us, I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I will oblige them, don't get me wrong. I don't see the point of them attacking us like this, but okay. War economy it is, yes. Um... They have lost 16,000. Survivability studies are good. Armor is good too. Can you guys like win here? Maybe? Yeah, looks like it. Nice. Well, that's good, is it not? I mean, we're jungle rats too. I guess they do have air superiority, but still. Asuncion, yes, nice. That's a lot of divisions. Five divisions is quite a few. Three. Can you all go here? Yeah, probably. Nice job. More naval stuff. Yeah. Oh, and there goes Belgium. All right. Let's see what you do. They are there are four divisions, which is a little more tough to beat. And South Africa. But now we're struggling. Down to the North American Federation. Alright, so now there's that war. We've lost 17,000. Not ideal, but you know what? They want to keep attacking us. So I'm kind of okay with it. Hey, we finally got it. So, Fabrica Nacional de Motores. Three more sizes. Or this one. I think this one's better. You still get two sizes, anyways, for Ford Motor Company. Or the Ford, I guess. Yeah, Ford. You get 10 more rubber, too, which is pretty good. Um, turn development. Invest into the Empire of Brazil. Well, I'm going to keep going down here because this one's pretty good. Provoke Argentina. Fourth research slot. Finally, thank God. Uh, America do Sul. South America is falling under our demand through the strength and courage of our people. We must not begin the difficult task of unifying the continent under our rural culture. For Marco Sul. South America has long been under the influence of powers beyond it, such as the U.S. or the European empires. But if the nations of the continent come together as a single economic and political bloc, none would dare interfere on a continent ever again. Promote immigration. The empires of Brazil 
Empire Brazil is a diverse nation with people whose ancestry stretches across the globe. With their economy growing once more and an abundance of resources waiting to be tapped, it's time to encourage more people to move here and call themselves Brazilian too. Stimulate the economy. Domestic production of goods remain insufficient, leading to money flowing out of the nation to purchase imports. We must curtail this by expanding our own industries, which would be fantastic. But I think I'll end it there. We're doing very, very well. It's interesting. Always the first, always interesting. The first episode when we uh, play as any nation in South America, really. Uh, but we're gonna struggle here a little bit against Paraguay because they're they're a little tough. They're a little tough, but they're out of manpower, which is good to see. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you what else we can do with the Empire of Brazil by Pedro Henrique. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.